We have been losing so many pastors as of late, and unfortunately that trend has continued as the news has come out that Kingdom Faith Church pastor Colin Urquhart has passed away after a battle with cancer. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The news was announced by Pastor Colin's son, Clive. He went to the church's Facebook page to make the announcement that after battling cancer for a while and Pastor Colin did everything he could to hold on, he eventually took a turn for the worse and he passed away on Monday, September 13th. But that this was also a time to celebrate because he is now in the arms of Jesus. He is no longer suffering. He is not in any more pain. The family was around him for his last days there in the hospital. They spent it, Clive said, thanking him for everything that he had done for them as a family, who he was to them, what he meant to them, how much he had impacted their own lives, and how much he had done for the gospel of Jesus Christ while his ministry was here on earth. And that was something that Clive was very serious about when talking about his pastor, uh, who was, you know, this is somebody that was over 80 years old, uh, had battled this disease, but somebody that was a huge figure in the United Kingdom there in England for the charismatic movement. Going all the way back to the 1960s and 1970s, he first went ahead and formed Kingdom Faith Church all the way back in the late 70s. You know, this started out as you know, a church where they were just kind of meeting in home groups, and it is now, to where it is now exploded uh, into a church that has seven different sites. Uh, it has its own its own ministry college. I mean, it has just expanded his ministry leaps and bounds, probably beyond anything that Colin could have ever imagined for his family. And so many impacted by him. He was also an author, several books released by him. Um, he started off in the Anglican Choir, as a young child at the age of 10, uh, before working his way up in ministry, and eventually saying, you know what, I can kind of shed, you know, like the robes, and I can kind of get out of more of the religious mindset when it comes to who God is. And he started really pursuing and, and preaching this, that it was more about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. It wasn't about so much the religious aspect of it. And that's what really changed him and got him to more uh, of a modern day approach to things, but not even so much that, just talked a lot about the book of Acts and what the disciples did, how they went out and they preached God's word, how they went and laid hands on the sick and they would recover. That personal relationship that oftentimes gets so just mixed up in, in religion and in traditionalism and all of that that you find throughout so many different denominations, that was something that Pastor Colin was able to break. Uh, and I believe it was for the better of not just himself, but his family and everybody who was involved with his ministry over time. The, the people that have been pouring in with their support for him, the nice things that they have said about this man, what he meant to them, uh, it's truly touching. But at the same time, it's so hard for the family. They've lost, you know, his wife has lost her husband. Their children have lost their, fa their father. You know, in addition to Clive, he's got two daughters as well. Uh, and the church itself, you know, they prayed that he was going to recover from this. But you know what? The Lord called him home. And when Clive said this, that, you know what? We can rejoice in knowing that he's with Jesus. That is so true. And they also said that there's going to be an announcement coming uh, in the coming weeks about a celebration of life ceremony that will be held for Pastor Colin. They're going to release more information on that as soon as it becomes available. But not just somebody that affected people throughout the UK and through England, but all over the world as well. You know, pa Pastor uh, David Yonggi Chow, I talked about him the other day. He recently passed away. This was an influential pastor over in South Korea that affected not just his country, but the entire world as well. And so all these pastors are now going home for all different reasons too. Some of them have been in accidents. Some of them have been from disease other things. So we pray uh, for the entire Urquhart family that God would comfort you at this time and bring you the peace, uh, resources, everything that you need. Also, everybody at Kingdom Faith Church, that God would be with you at this time as well. And guys, for the majority of the time here, we talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines, talking about the, the news that's going on in the world right now, how we're so close to the return of Christ. And it is so true. And we're 
getting that message to people out there that you need to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior if you haven't done so already. But when you hear things like this take place, it's all the more reason that you never know when your last day here is going to be. You want to have that assurance of knowing that no matter how you leave this world, that when you do, you are in the arms of Jesus. And so I'd like to lead you in a prayer right now like we do on all of our videos of salvation to accept Christ as your Savior. You can do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need in order to bring that prayer before the Lord as the first thing that you want to do is you want to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. You can just say that to the Lord. But here's the good news. God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of that sin. That means to turn from your sin and not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Again, prayers going out to the entire Urquhart family. Pastor Collins' team, everybody that knew him, God will be with you at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.